Hello guys. Uh, today I thought I would talk about my uh, Nomad Rover. This Nomad Rover is by Servo City. I'm in the process of gathering components. I just thought I'd talk about them today just so you can see where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna. This has a uh, four planetary gear motors. Uh, it's got good articulation. Um, I'm gonna use the Roboclaw um, 60 amp speed controller dual channel. And it's overkill for this these motors, but I want to have room to grow, so that's what's going to be on here. Also, use this high torque servo for the winch. Um, it's 600 ounce, I think. Yeah, 600 ounce. So uh, per inch. So it's a pretty heavy duty servo. Um, for the battery power, I'm going to use 250 200 uh, milliamp hour 11.1 .1 volt uh, lipo batteries. And uh, this crane here, I'm a, this is by Saint Smart. Uh, it, it can pick up some weight. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty hefty, so it can do its, it'll do its job. Um, and this is the claw that I'm gonna, that I've chosen to use. Now I may upgrade this uh, as time goes on, but this is the first, first iteration of the claw that's going to be on the, on the crane itself. So um, this system is also going to have lidar. So laser radar, if you're not familiar with it, it can map a room. Uh, so this is, that's going to be really interesting. One of the controllers I'm going to use by is by a company called Robotech. This is an ROHS uh, board. It, it has a, a gyroscope, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. So I can collect some of the data that I want to collect. Uh, from that point, I'm going to uh, use Tinker Forge um, to collect and collect data, sensor data. So distance sensor audio elevation sensor stuff like that so these are called bricklets yeah so the bricklets they have small footprints they'll be on the board or on the chassis uh, the receiver and transmitter that I'm going to use the emitter is a uh, far sky as you can see it uh, far sky Tyrannus and I'm using two receivers two eight channel receivers that can be prepared that transmitter can do 32 channels and that's going to give me a, the ability to control quite a bit of servos and uh, stuff like that. So, well, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do so far. I've gotten almost everything I need. Um, I'm waiting on the LiDAR system that's going to be on this. And I'm going to have pan and tilt first person view on this as well. Uh, you've been looking for high, high range uh, FPV, uh, at least at 720. So. Um, that will actually get installed on this as well. So, uh, If you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Give me a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and have a good day.